Hello YouTube, my name is Chris, I'm from Germany and on my channel DYOR, which stands for Do Your Own Research, I mainly introduce to you cryptocurrencies or promising sounding blockchain or not or even not so promising sounding blockchain projects to you. Why do I do that? Uh, why I do these videos is I do that to make it easier for you to do your investments decisions. I'm not a financial advisor, that's what I can tell you here, or what I have to tell you here right now. Um, I just give you a brief summary of this cryptocurrency so that it simply makes it easier for you to find out if this is the right coin for you or not. Today I picked Algorand. Um, I go here through a little introduction of, to the, about this coin, uh, what it uh, is, what problems it solves, what use cases it has, who are the founders, what's the price and in the end what's my personal opinion about it. So let's dive right in. Well, what is it and what problems does it solve? It is a Bitcoin-like peer-to-peer network, which means it is truly decentralized. And now here comes the, the bold claim, in my opinion, or its unique selling point. It claims to have solved the blockchain trilemma. The blockchain trilemma is that you can't have scalability speed and security at the same time. You only can to pick two of three features for your blockchain. They solved this trilemma by its permissionless pure proof of stake protocol. Well, um, in the paper they explain it how how it actually works. I will link that paper, that white paper, in the description below if you want to read more about it. Um, the block, uh, the Algorand claims that it's truly decentralized and democratic. Well, it does not distinguish between something like miners and normal users. Everyone is a normal user. Well, apparently it has no miners because it's a proof of stake system. Algorand um, uses for this an innovative process called cryptographic sortition to securely and unpredictably elect a set of voters from the network periodically. These voters are responsible for reaching consensus through a Byzantine agreement protocol on one block per time. Um, about secure as Bitcoin, this claim has been proven wrong. According to Mauro Conti, there is a particular security flaw in the Algorand protocol that exploits its process of validating messages which can be used to launch a DDoS-like attack against the network. I, I um, read this paper and there is also a solution against this DDoS-like attack, so how, to fi how it can be prevented or fixed. So I think in the near future we will see for Algorand a fix which solves this. But this, if you want to read this paper by yourself then i also link this paper in this description down below. Use cases. Well, use cases are AI services, games, real estate, identity fabricate identity verify oh, is a typo verification copyright management enterprise solutions decentralized exchanges cross border payment and other finance solutions cryptocurrencies and stable coins compute computing solutions um yeah use cases if you read this all then it's apparently uh, a smart contract platform, blockchain. 
but currently smart contracts are not activated at Algorand. So companies like IDEX, OTOY or Tether um, have not or have right now not created any token on that blockchain. So all this news which you read in the recent months actually um, Algorand is just six months on the market where you can trade it. Um, all these news about it are just um, declarations of intent of these companies. Um, computing solutions, um, I want to mention this year, OTOY rendering solutions was their R&DR token, which is currently developed on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, sounds very promising to me. Um, it is something like um, Golem or RLC, and but just for rendering. And I, I will dive deeper into this topic, and I will compare it to RLC because I think it's an interesting project, and could be also interesting for you and your portfolio. But let's continue with Algorand. Who's the founder? The founder is Silvio Michali, a pref professor at MIT. Well, Algorand was founded and lo is located in Boston. Uh, in a, it was founded in 2017. 17. Um, he uh, researches about zero knowledge, knowledge proofs, cryptography, and various other computer science since the early 80s. And when I was reading his CV on the MIT page, then I noticed that he has very close ties and networks and connections to IBM. And he has these connections since the early 80s. And students of him, which he explicitly no explicit mentions in his um, CV like Halevi Shai or Rosario Gennaro they are all working now for IBM research or worked until like Rosario Gennaro he just worked until 2012 2012 for IBM research the CEO is Stephen Kokinos I don't know him uh, I just want to mention who are the leading figures at Algorand and uh, he has a bachelor in economics uh, at the Mac. He graduated at McGill University or McGill and the CEO is W. Sean Ford with an MBA at Harvard. The advisor is Albert Wenger. Uh, he has a bachelor in business administration, also graduated graduated at Harvard, and he has a PhD. Uh, he made a PhD, B, I mean PhD at MIT. Yeah, sounds pretty like um, a good amount of knowledge here, which teamed up here in this project. Um, but they are not developers of the Algorand project. They are just pushing Algorand in a certain direction so that everything goes according the philosophy of Silvio Michali. So the guys who working on Algorand, on the protocol, on, on the coin, are researchers and developers at the Algorand Foundation. The Algorand Foundation is located in Singapore and it consists of computer scientists and blockchain developers of Yale, MIT, the World Bank, Ethereum and again IBM. Even um, People from Ethereum switched in the past to Algorand. 
I mentioned Greg Goldman here because I read several articles about him in crypto related news that he was switching from Ethereum to Algorand and he was mentioned as the so called, I think it was the Gandalf of Ethereum. So what does it mean? Well, it means that Algorand is looking for skilled people and takes a lot of money to get these skilled people in their team. They work here like, like those big tech companies like Google or Facebook who they both try always to get those really skilled or known people to get them working for them it's quite interesting and but it's also very pricey and how do they finance this well i tell you this later when i talk about price so let's head to the next topic that's my predictions uh what might happen in 2020 i think we will see corporations with ibm i'm not so sure but I think it will also happen that they will have a cooperation with Intel. And I'm sure that there will be a certain cooperation with Visa. It's not like that Visa will run something on Algorand, but they, I think that Visa will adopt certain solutions of Algorand for using it then on their own blockchain like or maybe that Weezer is running then a token on the Algorand blockchain this could be possible but I actually doubt it because those big companies like Visa and Mastercard they prefer all to do their own thing when you think about JP Morgan and so on they all do their own blockchain or their own project uh, on somewhere or somewhat i don't know whatever um you get a point um let's talk now about the price the current price of algorand is 0 0.0 uh, no not 0 0.0 0 0.256279 us dollar not much of course not much it's rank according to its marking market cap rank 41 um, it's of course not much because Algorand is just six months about six months on the market um, let's see the full view you see here oh where do I get the f oh <laughs> okay here of course, I have to click on Max. It's um since July 2019 tradable on the markets, and we see it was actually here and had an all-time high of three dollar and fifty-six cents in June on 20th June 2019. That's seven months ago. That's very high, I have to say. But it dumped all down to now roughly 25 cents US dollar. And uh, I was mentioning how do they pay all those good people? Well, apparently by using their own token. The available supply is three billion uh, roughly three billion algorand coins and the foundation has in their wallets 2.5 billion coins so the estimated circulating supply is just 553 million algorand algo coins so this means about 
roughly about 83% is in the hands of the foundation and just 17% is circulating. When I see this kind of distrib distribution of coins, then I'm always very concerned about it because it means that the price will dump sometimes very hard because all those bills of that foundation have to be paid, of course. And if you have such, and then if you want to get all those skilled people, then I think the bill is very high. And it's quite sure that they will then from time to time unlock certain wallets and put all those coins on the market. So what does it mean for the price in 2020? Well, if bull run comes, then it will also fire up Algorand. There will definitely then a price increase. I think we can see then something up to 80 cents. But not for long, because I'm sure that they will unlock then certain wallets and drop them then on the market. So. As long as the foundation has so many coins, I think in the next two, three, four years, the price will stay somewhere at around 60 US dollar. Not 60, oh, I'm sorry, not 60 US dollar, I mean 60 US, cents US dollar. And, um, well, it depends on how fast they get their smart contracts uh, activated. I mean, currently right now, Algorand has those smart contracts not, they are not available right now on their platform. But as soon as more applications are built on the Algorand blockchain, then I think this thing will develop faster but does it have um, a standing against ethereum well right now i doubt it i think in 2020 and at least in the next three years four years and especially if this whole DeFi sector is skyrocketing then I think the standing of Algorand against Ethereum is not so good but we saw it already a couple time in the past when you think about AOL CompuServe or in the near future like MySpace versus Facebook, then there is always the chance that a smaller project can beat the larger project, the bigger project. So should I invest into Algorand? Well, that's something which you have to find out by yourself. I did it, but not much. I just bought 1000 coins and I just huddle them and um, I'm actually just waiting and uh, hoping that it that it lifts off. Um, when I think about Ethereum and if I invested 1000, no, not if I not invested $1,000, I mean if I bought in the past 1000 when when Ethereum was introduced to the market, if I had bought 1000 Ethereum, then of course I would have now roughly about 200,000 US dollars. So I think it's a if you want to 
play it safe and don't want to lose much money but hope for a big chance to get a lot of money then you could play that game and buy just like me 1000 coins and hope for the best well um the thing about Algorand is that all what they promise sounds it sounds very good but um, when you think about other projects like Cardano they have also a lot of scientists in the background they write a lot of papers and so on and it also sounds very very promising but it feels like the project doesn't go forward in I mean Cardano and um, so it will be critical or crucial uh, it will be a crucial part in the future for Algorand to get things done in the right time and um, we have to see where it goes and we have to follow the news for that project um, but I think those close ties to IBM will play a major role in the future so Algorand is definitely not a bad pick in your in my opinion in someone's portfolio not in yours because I'm not a financial advisor um, I'm not chilling this project it's just after researching and reading all these papers and news articles about it and all those videos which they provide I think it's a solid team and a, a solid philosophy behind it the only concern is, of course, which I have here is the circulating supply. So I hope this video helped you now to make your own decision. And uh, if you liked that video, leave a like and see you next time. Thank you.